Every year, IMO confers an award for exceptional bravery at sea, recognising and rewarding individuals who, at the risk of losing their own life, perform acts of outstanding bravery while attempting to rescue people in distress at sea or preventing catastrophic pollution of the marine environment. Altogether, nominations for 38 acts of bravery were received for the 2011 awards from 14 IMO member governments and one non-governmental organisation. On November 21st, IMO Secretary-General Euthymios Metropolis welcomed a packed audience to a special ceremony at IMO's London headquarters to honour the nominees and winners. We are here this evening once again to honour and pay tribute to a very special group of courageous men and women who, in coming to the rescue of others under life-threatening conditions, displayed virtues of heroism, valour, devotion to duty, and altruism of the highest standards. Of all the outstanding nominations received, one stood out from the rest and was unanimously agreed by the judges to be deserving of the highest prize. Captain Sog Hye Gung of the Republic of Korea, master of the chemical tanker Samho Jewelry, was deemed a worthy winner of the 2011 IMO Award for Exceptional Bravery at Sea. Captain Sog was confronted not by the elements, but by an even more insidious danger, that of pirates threatening him, his crew and his ship. The Samho Jewelry was captured by pirates in January 2011. The ship and crew were held for several days, during which time Captain Sog surreptitiously performed several acts designed to frustrate the pirates and buy time so that a rescue attempt could be mounted. When the pirates became suspicious that Captain Sog was not fully cooperating with them, they brutally assaulted him, causing serious fractures to his legs and shoulders. Days later, during the successful rescue mission, Captain Sog was shot four times, including twice in the abdomen, by pirates firing in revenge. Eventually, all 21 crew members were freed. Captain Sog underwent major surgery, and it was nearly a month before he recovered full consciousness. At the ceremony in London, Captain Sog, accompanied by his wife, was presented with the IMO Bravery Award by Secretary General Metropolis, who said how appropriate it was that Captain Sog's actions should win this year's prize. The fact that his act of bravery has been judged as deserving the top honour has particular resonance this year, when piracy has been at the epicentre of our activities, sparing and motivating us to orchestrate a credible response to its menace. During the ceremony, special certificates were also awarded to the Maritime Rescue Coordination Centres at Falmouth in the United Kingdom and Stavanger in Norway, in recognition of their contribution on several occasions to search and rescue operations unfolding in distant areas far away from their respective countries' search and rescue regions over many years. At last, the Maritime Rescue Coordination Centres have got some recognition, especially within the GMDSS. Uh, they've been running GMDSS now at Falmouth for nearly 30 years, dealing with incidents thousands of miles from their UK coastline. have had this fantastic recognition, because without the MRCCs, like the Admiral said, the, uh, the distress alerts wouldn't be answered and those bravery awards wouldn't be sort of given. First of all, I would say thank you very much for the, for the certificate. It means a lot for us at the uh, GRCC Stavanger and of course it means very much for those of the controllers working night and day 24-7-365 to uh, save lives uh, all over the world. In addition, certificates were also presented during the ceremony to the several highly commended nominees or their representatives for a host of acts of outstanding courage performed in the name of maritime safety. Concluding his remarks, Secretary General Metropolis paid tribute to the high standard of nominations for this year's award, which had made the judging panel's task one of the most difficult ever. All those nominated, and especially those we are about to honour this evening, are ordinary people, like you and me, who, when faced with tough decisions, showed no signs of hesitation in going beyond the call of duty, acting with sheer determination and fortitude, even when the odds were stacked against them. In so doing, they saved lives and in some cases prevented serious pollution of the marine environment. They faced heavy seas, 
hostile weather conditions, fire, and other hazards. They were not intimidated and did not give up. They succeeded in their task and survived to tell the tale.